Good morning, everyone. Yeah, very good morning. So, shall we begin the session? Yes, same same chapter that is chapter number three. Software. We have discussed some parts of the software. We have discussed what are the users, who are the users, what is the what are the various application software, what is operating system. We have discussed. Yes, okay, so wait for others. Now let's start again. Next part is operating system that manage the hardware and the software devices. Yeah, that is we have, we have done already. That is managing the hardware resources of the computer, then providing the user interface of the component, then providing a, providing a platform for the software developer to write the application. So whatever the software de developer using, that uses the um, software developer to write the various application that provides a platform. And all the computing devices run an operating system. Whatever the operating system that is using, that runs an operating system. And for the personal computer, the most popular operating systems such as Microsoft Windows, Apple OS, and different versions of the Linux and early personal computer operating machines or systems are simple by today's standard and they don't do provide multitasking and require the user to type the commands to initiate an action. Now why is Microsoft so software so dominant in the business world that is why the Microsoft software is so popular in the business world what are the various advantages that is facing out that is using out while taking the Microsoft software. The next one is application software. That means whatever or whosoever that allows the users, that allows the users to accomplish some goal. That means for a general purpose computer that we are using the application software. So the second major category of the software is the application software. It is essentially the software that allows the user to accomplish some goal or the purpose. For example, if you have to write a paper, you might use the application software, for example, MS Word. If you're doing to, or if you, if you wish to do the calculation, that is also done by the Excel, that is an application software. In the same way for surfing over the web, you might use the Internet Explorer of the Firefox. And when a new type of in digital devices are invented, they, they, they are generally a small group of the technology that is used or who will purchase it just for the joy of figuring out how it works, how it follow up. And however, for most of us, until a device can actually do something useful, we are not giving to spend our hard work, energy or hard work and money on it. The next one is a productivity software along with a spreadsheet. As I told you, there are multiple other software that is also used, there are other, other, other applications that is also available that have become standard tools for the workplace. And these applications known as a productivity software also allows the office employees to complete their daily work together. And many times these applications come in the package together, such as the Microsoft Office that works with the Microsoft Office suite. And the list of the application, their functions. First is the word processing that is available in the DOCX format, then spreadsheet that is available in the .xlsx format, then pre presentation that is a PowerPoint that is available in the .pptx format. Then Microsoft Office that includes the various softwares. Now next is the application for the enterprise that is used, then ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning that includes the SAP, then supply chain management. Now, what are the various mobile application that is used? So we are also using the tablets and the smartphones. Now let's see what are the various mobile application that is used along with the application software. So just for the as we are using the personal computer, there are, there are also mobile devices, such as the tablet computer, tabs, and smartphones that have also operating system and the application software. In fact, those mobile devices in many ways just smaller than the abuse of the or the versions of the personal computer. A mobile app is a software application program to run specifically a mobile device. As you saw in the chapter number two, smartphone and the tablets are becoming dominant. As we see that they are becoming dominant form of the computing with many sort of smartphones being sold than the personal computer. This means that the organization will have to get the smart about developing the software on the mobile devices in order to state the relevant. Now these days, mo mo most of the mobile devices run on any of the two operating systems, that is Android or the iOS. What is Android? That is an open source operating system that is purchased out and supported by the Google iOS. 
and iOS is Apple's mobile operating system in the in the fourth quarter of the 2012 Android was installed on the 70.1 of the mobile chip on mobile phones. As organizations consider making their digital presence compatible with the mobile devices, they will also have to decide whether to build a mobile app. That is, what are the various applications that is used in the mobile? Nowadays, everything is available with the mobile app. Now, one of the option many computers or many companies have is to create a website that is more friendly or the mobile friendly that works on all the mobile devices and cost about the same as creating an app. Now, next is the cloud computing that is one of the main software that is one of the we can say the hard uh, expensive software that is used that is a cloud computing. So whenever we are using the software to run on a computer, individual copy of the software has to be reinstalled on the computer either from a desk or more recently being downloaded from the internet. The concept of the cloud computing changes this however whatever the concept that is used that it changes in the computing to understand the cloud computing we first have to understand what is cloud what the cloud is the cloud refers to the application that is not the cloud that is available in the sky this is the cloud that refers to the application services and other data or data storage over the internet so whenever we are using the application whenever we are using the services and the data storage over the internet that is known as a cloud these service providers rely on the server forms and the message storage devices that are connected via internet protocol. So whatever the devices that is used via the internet protocol that is known as the cloud computing and is the use of these services by the individuals and the organizations. Now you probably uh, already use the cloud computing in some, some of the form. For example, if you access your email via your web browser, you are using a form of the cloud computing. If you use the Google Drive applications, we are using the cloud computing while these are the free versions of the cloud computing there is a big business in the providing applications that is used as a cloud computing over the over the web and this uh, salesforce is one of the good example of the cloud computing their entire should do crm application that also offer the cloud this is not limited to those cloud computing it's not limited to the web application it can also be used for the services such as for video streaming now, what are the various advantages of the cloud computing? No software to install or upgrade to maintain. So there's no software that is required to install or upgrade to maintain, then available from any computer that have access to the internet. So this can be used from any computer. There's no hard and fast there's a requirement of the computer. So available from any computer that have access to the internet, then can scale to a large number of users easily. So it, it can be scaled to a large number of users, whatever the user that is available, so they are going to use with a large number of users very easily. Now can scale now new applications can also be up and running very quickly. Whatever the new application that is developed that is able to up and running very quickly, then services can be leased for a limited time on as or on an as needed basis. So whatever the need, whatever the requirement that is taken out, that can be leased for a limited time on as whatever it is needed out. Your information is not lost. Yes, your information is not lost if your hard disk crashes on or, or your laptop is stolen out. These are the various advantages that your information is still available even that is also recoverable if your laptop is stolen out or if your hard disk crashes. This is one of the main advantages of the cloud computing because everything is available over the internet. So we can fetch the data from any laptop, from any uh, drive so there is, that is not depending on the laptop, depending on the hard disk. And uh, one of the more advantages is that you are not limited by the available memory or the disk space on your computer. And services can also be leased for a limited time as as that means whatever the service that is available that will be available on when, whenever it is required as on the as needed basis. And new applications can be up and turning very quickly. Whatever the new application that is using up, so with the help of cloud computing, we can easily get the or we can easily use the new new application that is able to carried out. Now, what are the various disadvantages? So if, if it has advantages, now it has a disadvantages also. What are the various disadvantages that is follow up? Your information, your information is stored on someone else's computer. How safe it is? 
there is no privacy because everything is available on the internet so one one can use or one can access the internet if he have a or he knows the hacking so he or she have a able to access the data so information is stored that is not safe you must have a internet access to use it so it's a mandatory condition to use a cloud computing you must have an internet access if you do not have access you are out of the date or you are out of luck you are relying on the third party to provide these services that means everything is available over the internet so you are relying or you are we can say that depend on the third party now cloud computing has the ability to really impact how organization manage the technology for example why is an it department needed to purchase configure and manage the personal computer and software when all that is really needed is an internet connection so why there is a requirement of the IT department that is needed to purchase, configure and manage the personal computers and the software when all that is really needed is an internet connection. Now, using a private cloud, how, how the private cloud or how, how we are using the private cloud. So many organizations are understandably nervous but after giving up the control of their data and some of their application by using the cloud computing. But they also see the values in reducing the need for installing software. What are the software that is used for installing software and adding the disk storage to the local computer? Now, what is the solution that is the concept of the private cloud? That means that information is not shareable to the other people. That is a private to the limited persons whosoever is the owner of the cloud computing that is a private cloud and while there are also various models of a private cloud the basic idea for the cloud service is to section of the web server that is space for the specific organization that has a full control over the server space while still gaining some of the benefits of the cloud computing that is a private cloud the next one is a virtualization that is also a part of the cloud computing that is used in the process of using the software to stimulate or simulate a computer or some of these devices. For example, when we are using the virtualizations, a single computer can perform the function of the several computers. And companies such as EMC also provide the virtualization software that also allows the cloud server providers for the web application. That means they are providing the web application data that is used by the different server that is used by the different data. Now, organizations are also implementing the virtualizations in order to reduce the number of servers because everything is virtual. Now, the servers are also decreased, clients are also decreased. And next topic is what, how the software will be developed or the, how the software will be created, that is the software creation. How, how it is developed by using the various programming languages, well-known programming languages, for example, Java, PHP, and the various flavors of the C, like C, C++, and the C Sharp. These are the languages that is used, but nowadays the demand for the languages is going for the Java, PHP, and the, yeah, Java and the PHP are the main languages that is used. Yeah, C Sharp is also available, but we, when we talk about the, in the demand, Yes, and the software programming was originally an individual process with each programmer working on it. Every programmer, or each and every programmer is working on this one. That is working on a portion of the large program. However, new methods are also available. New methods are also developed with an excellent or collaborative approach with a team of the programmers working on the code together. Now, next is the open source software. That is not, yeah, that is that is common to each, that is open to each and everyone. So open source software is software that makes the source code available for anyone to copy and use. For most of us, having the access to the source code of a program does us uh, a little good. So we are not the programmer and won't be able to do much with it. The good news is that the open source software is also available in a compiled format that we can simply download and install. So we can simply download and install the software that is a closed software that includes a Firefox, that includes a yeah, Firefox browser and the Linux operating system and the Apache web servers. 
and many also thinks about the open source software that is superior to the closed source, uh, source software because the source code is very freely available and many of the programmer have contributed to the open source software project that adding the that adds the feature and the fixing the bugs And as the software begins to become a business, this idea of the sharing the everything is out of the favor, at least with someone. And there are many, many, however, software that will be restricted, just as with the with the with those early hobbies, that provides the innovation and the progress that can be made more rapidly if we share how to learn in the 1990s. And there are so many arguments on both the sides of the for the benefits of the two models. Now some benefits are available over here. First is the software is available for the free. Then the software code is also available. It can be examined and the reviewed. Whatever the technology that is available, it can be reviewed for this one, or it can be it, it can be taken out while it is taking out the data. Hello. Hello, hello. 